Hello, in this video I would like to go through different ways that you can run your program in Adaptive Vision Studio. I will use the official capsules example for this presentation. You can see that all filters are grayed out right now. This means that they haven't been yet executed and we are unable to check their output. The most common way to execute them is to run the program from the beginning to the end. The program will run as long as the main program loop is generated. For example, when new frames are grabbed by a camera. In our case, the enumerate imager filter works in an endless loop. Once it has read all the images, it starts again from the beginning due to the in-repeat parameter. On the bottom of the screen you can see the program current state and the macro filter which is now executed. Ok, now let's pause the program execution with the pause button. It suspends the program execution immediately after the last invoked filter is finished. The iterate button performs one iteration of the most nested loop of the program. In this program there is only one loop, the one in the main macro filter. After performing an iteration the program goes back to the pause state. Next we have the iterate back button which reverse the direction of iteration. It may be useful for example when we are trying to go back to the previous image. Beside that there is iterate current macro button. Its effect, unlike the regular iterate button, is dependent on the macro filter currently open in the program editor. In the main macro filter it works exactly the same as the iterate button. However, if we open one of the macro filters and use it there, it will only iterate the program to the end of this macro filter. Step into allows us to iterate the program filter by filter. It also enters the macro filter body. The green line indicates the place where the program execution is at a given moment. It is however only shown during iterating, not during continuous run. Step out lets us execute all blocks until the end of the current macro filter to jump out of it. Step over also executes program block by block, but unlike step into, it doesn't go inside the macro filter. There is also an option called run until here. It executes all filter until the one that is currently selected. And finally there is a stop button. It changes the status of the program to not started.